birthday boy. Okay. This morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, thanks to <laughs> GoProvidence.com, Chef Bob Burke is here from Pots of Fear. We have a wild mushroom soup on the menu today. Welcome back. What is that beeping? I, you, I know, I do. I, oh, I'm hearing something. I forgot her. Our snack bacon. <laughs> I'm thinking, what okay. is... I'm now, this is your first uh, time seeing uh, Bob Burke in the kitchen. <laughs> Bob, please explain your snack bacon. I'll shut the oven off. I, I, oh, yeah, that timer is, like, driving me insane. <laughs> I got there it. There we go. Okay, good, good. Much better, much better. No matter what you're making... We have to have snack bacon. Yes. Yeah, we I, have I think to, that's a good rule we, of thumb in any kitchen, right? We have to start with right? snack bacon, so uh, we're going to let that cool a little bit and yeah. have some... It um, smells delicious. It's the best, you know? Speaking of the best, mm -hmm. things that are grown locally in our area, we have some of the best ingredients going on, and, and mushrooms this are is one of them. the official start of the Rhode Island mushroom season, mm -hmm. okay? They're starting to bloom. They're out there. I wanted our chef, Chef Spike, to be here with us this morning. Uh, he was online and saw the alert that the morels are blooming in the Berkshires. So he took off. Middle of the night. <laughs> headed out so we could be there for sunrise to get and I want to show you look at look at the size I mean it's like as big as my head wow look at the size of that mushroom he picked this the he other day in himself. Rhode Island this is a Rhode Island wild mushroom he that is, is incredible he's certified by the health department so we're always sure that we've got the best of everything and so we need a plethora of mushrooms for this soup what else do we need to flavor uh, it up? of course you know a little celery onion butter cream flour, salt, pepper. We've got mm -hmm. some other dried mushrooms here. A touch of cream, gonna be absolutely delicious. Perfect. And we're also gonna drink this morning absinthe from our absinthe fountain. Yes, it is beautiful. And we'll tell you how this works and, and start the soup in just a bit. Welcome back, one of our favorites, Bob Burke is here from goprovidence.com. He's from Pot of Fur, of course. Bonjour, yeah. sir. Bonjour, monsieur, ça va? Bonjour, mon, mon We're ami. cooking a little Qu mushroom there. Yeah, we got some snack bacon for you. You, and sir. And you know, I didn't No, we got the fan on. We just want everyone to know if you oh, hear yeah. a light yeah. buzzing, yeah. don't yeah, be... Oh, to... now you don't need to worry about anything. I've got a light buzz. Been... I've been drinking up salt all morning. <laughs> How did I guess that? What have you been doing? Some bacon, monsieur. Oh. It's not in the recipe, snack bacon. We. Oui. You always have to have bacon when you cook. So Abs this, absolutely. You don't want a snack? You'll take uh, it with you. I'll take okay. it with you. For okay. the road, if you will. I just wanted to tell people the best way to cook bacon, all that spatter in the pan, no. Put it on a sheet pan, put it in the oven, 400 degrees, 18 minutes. Thick bacon takes a whole pound. Okay. Perfect. Very good. That's the tip of the day. I like now, that. Our mushroom soup. Big pot, little celery already cooking. I want to show you something about an onion, okay? okay? See that onion? It's a good looking onion. That's a beauty. Yeah. Kind of has a root end. Yep. See the root end? Has a stem end. Kind of looks like a lily, doesn't it? Looks like a Christmas tree ornament. Yeah. You know why it looks like a lily? Why is that? Because it is a lily. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and what happens is, is that when we cut it, that root end is going to hold it together. Okay. So what you want to do when you cut an onion is you want to go up here to the top, take a little bit of the bottom off, like You don't this. want to take too much. And what will happen is it will hold it together okay. while you cut it. To keep that consistency. Yeah, well, it, it makes it hard to chop an onion when the onion's like flying all over the place. Right, no, that's important. So, a lot of people maybe have never worked with onions before, so that's a great tip. So now with the root end down there, as we see, it's all gonna hold together. You know how they make those blooming onions in the steakhouses and stuff? Yep. This is how they do it. And they, they use the root end. See how it's not falling apart? Look at the way you slice Isn't and dice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so man. So now what happens when we go across like this, it's going to be all diced up, um, just like we were going to use it on hot wieners, but we're now going to use it in <laughs> mushroom soup. Okay. Well, uh, this would is how to make the hot show wiener wieners. Onions. Show, C-H-A-U-D would be the French word for hot. Oh, you, you're, you're punishing this morning. I'm, I'm pretty you're, good. You're, well, this is the man. You're punishing. Bob Burke, we're going to let him so continue onion. to do his thing. We'll come back to you in a, in a bit. We'll have much more for now. Back to you. Sunny start to the day and nice warm comfort food in the kitchen. A wild mushroom soup with mm. Bob Burke from Pots of Fear. Real mushrooms from the woods of Rhode Island. Oh, really? Yes. You went out there and harvested no, them? No, our chef. Our chef is oh, certified. Right. I'm just picturing you in a camouflage outfit going out there, getting them. I'm sure he would go on a on trek them. for mushrooms. Sneaking. Bob is quite the traveler and adventurer. Sure how, do you, how do you catch a unique mushroom? Oh, God, you, here we go. You sneak oh, up no. on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So these are the real deal, and our chef should have been here this morning. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm the on-deck hitter, 
because mm. he has run off to the Berkshires. So he's lost in the woods. Because the yeah. word on the internet is the morels have bloomed in the Berkshires. That's and really cool. He goes though. off in the middle of the night to find so these things. So you know things. you're getting the fresh. So we've got some uh, shiitakes. We reconstituted some dried mushrooms. When you say so that, Brendan, it means you're just putting. If you would add that to the. Uh, right the, here. The when you say you're reconstituting it, is you, are you just adding they were liquid dried. back into Yeah, the, you can okay. do it with wine or you could do it with a little water. Mm -hmm. Okay, either one's fine. Stir that place. I can do that with the ladle here? What, no, not with the ladle. What do you, you don't stir with the ladle, you stir See, the See, this is why I said I do for stirring. Let me find a nice spoon, oh, shall we? Oh, my God. And I'm going oh, to add some more mushrooms here. I, aren't these cool-looking mushrooms? Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? They're beautiful. And these are, are real. Beautiful. These are all local Rhode Island mushrooms. So we're going to chop them up a little bit. But obviously, great. make okay. sure you know what you're doing because not all <laughs> See, mushrooms. Do not go out and collect any mushrooms and start making soup. Right. Don't. Do not. Do not. And because you'll kill your family. <laughs> well, unless you want to get rid of your family, you won't make the mushroom soup. Yeah, oh, that God. Uncle Joe is really Uncle a problem. Uncle Joe uh, so we're is no let longer those with us. Mushrooms cook for Would a while. you like to try? I cooked a little piece of mushroom here. Would you like to take a taste of one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, here. I love this mushrooms. This is really nice. Give that a try. Okay. Ooh. And then. We're going to let that absent. cook for a minute, and we're going to add a little cream. Mm. Why don't you make me a drink while uh, you're I don't standing know what there I'm doing, doing nothing? Just what I'm going to add a little cream to round it. Round three. Okay? And what, and we're it, what add is this? A little Bob? stock. This is absinthe. It was banned for a hundred years mm -hmm. because it had uh, hallucinogenic properties, and um, they. And we're bringing they, it back at nine fifty-two in the morning. Because now there's no longer, and you can either light this on fire like this now, and it's called the Green Fairy. Yes. And what you do. Is that this is just a little water in here? Okay. And you turn the spigot. Okay. And we're going to, as you do that, we're going to ring <laughs> the absinthe bell. Come on in. To let everyone know that the absinthe is being poured, and that's perfect. You're doing great. Huh. And look at, watch as it changes. See, if you look in the glass, see the fairy. Oh, you yeah, see the green. Colors. See the fairy start to. Yeah. Yeah. Float around like the genie. Welcome to Bob Burke's okay. lab. And and now once this. This is 136 proof. Wow. Very strong. Very strong. Yes. So this is why you really want to dilute it down. And now the fairy is gone. Wow. And you just have this beautiful green color. And as soon as the sugar is all dissolved, you turn the spigot back off. Huh. This is our beautiful uh, absinthe lady, Claire. Hi, Claire. And this Thank is, you for the this drink. whole setup is on the bar at Pot au Feu. Oh. And anybody beautiful. who wants to come down, you can go ahead and turn it off now. Okay. Smell that licorice? It smells great. That is the sign of absinthe. One, the color change, and two, that, that beautiful licorice smell mm. that you get with it. Yeah. I'm also smelling okay. that soup, which yes. w once we have all the mushrooms in there, Bob, what did you do to um, well, have it become To finish it, pot? we put in some stock. And we're going to put in a little cream, touch of flour to thicken if you want it a little thicker. You could keep it brothier if you mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, stay away from the cream. And um, what we're going to do is just, this needs to cook for a while because the wild mushrooms really aren't quite as soft. They're a little more fibrous yes. right, than what you get with the ones in the supermarket. So we would have had to cook this about 30 minutes. Oh, you know, yeah, really? Well, yeah, let that. them. Let so them what I can do is. We should extend Brendan, the roadshow to 1030 today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stay on the air. Special report <laughs> on the wild mushroom Let's soup get on the mushrooms. being prepared. Call CBS, tell them where. Yeah, um, we're if, taking over. If you would, um, there, I put a little bowl over there, and yeah. now you can now you can ladle. All oh, right, yes. Your, your Hashtag moment, ladle it up. His moment has come. And he's going right to ladle. Into this bowl. He was nervous yeah. to do anything. You, else. I know. Well, I, you're so you good that I don't want to come in here and the you know. The word isn't dump. We don't use the word dump. We we ladle the soup yes. into the bowl. Yes. You know, we want Absolutely. to try to keep elegantly. things yeah. elegant. Yes. Tray elegant. Swiftly. Right? Tray bien, indeed. And Bob, always a pleasure to have you here. Go to the bottom. Get it hot. Get okay. lots. No, that's enough. All right, that's plenty. That's enough. So you okay. take that. As you Bob go. continues, oh you want to complete yeah. things here. Hot. Say magnifique you is all that. we can say. This is the man, Bob I'm going to have the... Uh, Thanks uh, to Go Providence for uh, bringing him here. I'm going to have the... Uh, it's from Pato. Go for it. Uh, in a minute, as, after we wrap things up, to get the <laughs> recipe for the wild mushroom mm. soup, to find out what he's up to. It's a great place. Visit us at roadshow.com. It's delicious, too. really